CMOS Tools is an Android-based logging and flashing solution created by Scott Lawrence, AKA Switchleg. So a lot of people refer to it as open source tuning, and while it was in the very beginning, it has not been open source for quite some time now. That term really needs to stop being thrown around when it comes to CMOS Tools. For a bit of history, the CMOS Tools predecessor was VW Flash. VW Flash was and still is open source. It was started by Brian Ledbetter and it is hosted on his GitHub. Major contributors included two other individuals named Joe Dubs and Tiny Tuning. Their work is what ultimately led to figuring out the exploit necessary for flashing the ECU without bricking it in the process. This open source work, plus a bit of collaboration between those individuals, allowed the creation of CMOS tools, which was a much more user-friendly and convenient flashing and logging solution. Scott is the only active developer, and while it is no longer open source, it is free for anyone to use. Scott is also the creator of several ECU patches, which tend to get associated with CMOS tools, even though they're not really directly related. These patches change the underlying logic of the ECU, not just the tables that get used in said logic. Now, unlike the CMOS tools application, these patches are only for personal use unless you have Scott's explicit permission to tune while using them. If you're tuning somebody else's car for any kind of compensation, that means you need to have his permission to use the patches. His switch patch is by far the most well-known of his patches. It enables things like map switching, flex fuel, traction control, launch control, rolling anti-lag, meth injection, and no lift shift for the cars with the inferior transmission. Some other notable patches include the C-Brick patch, which adds some idiot proofing when it comes to flashing without bricking your ECU. There's also the high-speed logging patch, which allows you to monitor way more things than typically available and at a faster rate. There's a simple wastegate patch, which is helpful when you put a non-stock turbo on the car. And there's a few others for very specific use cases, which we'll touch on at a later time.